This example is like problem number six from the week five Excel assignment. So we have a clinical trial that's conducted comparing a new drug to placebo. Uh, the data are given here in the table. So we had five participants in each. Uh, we want to know, is there a significant uh, decrease here, decrease uh, in the mean fasting blood glucose of patients on the new medication run the appropriate test at the 5% significance level. So these are not before and after measurements. They're two different groups. So this is going to be an independent samples test. Uh, we want to know, is there a decrease? So in our step one, H0, H1, H0 is that the two means are equal. The alternative is that mean one, the new drug is less than mean two because they're saying significant decrease. So one-sided test. Uh, decision rule, we're using the Excel online workbook, so we will reject here if uh, P is less than 0.05. Uh, computer test statistic, so let's go to the workbook. So we're going to use the, again, the hypothesis testing procedure workbook. We're using tab number seven, test for mean one minus mean two with the original data, not summary. So uh, level of significance is still 5% here. Uh, the difference in means uh, is zero because we're testing equal is our null hypothesis. And then uh, here's our data for uh, the new drug and placebo. So we want to go ahead and delete that data out of there. We are going to go ahead and come back here and copy our data, control C. And then we will just uh, paste it in there. And we can see here that... Uh, our t-value was 1.18 and our one-sided p-value was 0.135 and we can see that uh, the mean here for group one that was the new drug 152 and group two 143.8 uh, so that's actually showing that uh, the first mean is higher than the second mean we wanted to show is it less than we're looking for is there a significant decrease in the mean glucose on the new medication. So we want the mean here to be less and doesn't look like it is. So our T value here, 1.184. And our P value, 0.135. which is greater than 0 0.05. So we do not reject H0. And uh, again, we want to note here that uh, we use the Excel online workbook to get that p-value. And we'll go ahead and state our conclusion. So if we did not reject, uh, we're going to conclude that there is no significant decrease. Uh, so there is not a significant decrease with the drug. So that drug is not working. 